Yes, every week, the best professional wrestling discussion on the internet. World Wrestling Entertainment, TNA Wrestling, Ring of Honor, and much more. This, ladies and gentlemen, is in the hot seat with your host, Fort Miners Project. Alright, what's going on guys, and welcome to this week's episode of In The Hot Seat, and of course, as always, I got a great show lined up for you guys, and this week I got two returning guests joining me at this time, and would you guys like to introduce yourselves? Uh, yeah, it's up to me, if you want to. Alright, my friends, to be good. Alright, it's good to have you guys both back on the show, we got a lot to get through. And, um, you know, with that being said, I'm actually going to kick things off right here. And now uh, with uh, Triple H, that's right, Triple H coming back and uh, taking over pretty much. And, uh, you know, relieving Fitz McMahon of his duties uh, to kick things off for Raw right after Money in the Bank. And, uh, you know, with this, what are you guys' thoughts on this with Triple H, um, you know, relieving Fitz McMahon of his duties and stuff like that? And uh, what are your thoughts on this whole storyline? Uh, I think... Could be something new, uh, something different from um, and let's just see what people say. But I've heard rumors of honor invasion. All right, uh, Big Mike, what are your thoughts about it? Um, I think it's good actually. Um, I'm pretty sure it's very storyline driven, mm-hmm. even though some there's some realism in it because Triple H is going to eventually be in that role. Yeah. But right now, I think it's storyline. Um, which is good. They needed it. It's very good for TV. Yeah. Um, my self, not being one for WWE, uh, in, the, in the recent months or even in the recent years, it's mm-hmm. even got me, it's got my attention. Okay. So I think it's really good. I think it's a good way to bring Triple H back to TV, a good way to get Vince off, and also to continue with this whole um, Cena and Punk storyline. Even though Cena or Punk wasn't mon- mentioned much last week, yeah. Um, I think people jumped the gun thinking that WWE dropped the ball with it. Yeah. Um, Cena, even though CM Punk's not in the in the on TV, mm-hmm. he's in the same role as The Rock right now. Even though The Rock's not on TV, right. as long as his name keeps being brought up and he keeps doing certain things, he's going to be on TV without being on TV. Mm-hmm. And uh, I think we just got to watch and see what happens because I think CM Punk, yeah. um, that storyline's going to be played out a lot better yet. Mm-hmm. Yeah, with me, you know, I think it's, you know, kind of random that it came out of nowhere like that, but, you know, it's going to be interesting to see how this whole thing is going to be played out, um, whether or not Vince McMahon is going to come back eventually and, uh, you know, come back as the chairman and, uh, you know, take Triple H out of there, or if Triple H is going to be here permanently and, uh, you know, a lot of it could happen uh, depending on what's going on. So we'll have to wait and see how this plays out. I'm interested to see what's going to happen next week. Uh, even if we'll uh, not even see Vince McMahon at all next week, we might. Who knows for the final time. Well, so uh, we'll have to wait and see. And, uh, you know, getting back to CM Punk is actually the next topic, of course. Uh, from most of you who saw Money in the Bank, that's right. CM Punk is the new WWE Champion. And uh, what was uh, a good match between CM Punk and John Cena. And uh, I just wanted to get you guys' thoughts on, you know, CM Punk winning the championship and what's going to happen next. Uh, I'm going to actually go with uh, WWE one, uh, DVD123. What are your thoughts first on this whole CM Punk winning the WWE championship? I think it's a good storyline and that this will have the crowd sitting on the edge of their seat wondering what's going to happen next. Mm-hmm. And it's going to be great for me mainly. Uh, it was a smart move, and also it was one of the mark-out moments of the year. Yeah. Got everybody talking, really, and got the internet fans all hyped up as well, which we have are really hard to please. All right, Big Mike, what are your thoughts? Well, my thoughts on the whole uh, CM Punk winning the title, I think it's great. Mm-hmm. Like I said before, even casual fans are not even huge fans of the WWE right now. Yeah. Are watching just to see what's going on. It's a huge storyline. Um, obviously, it's the talk of the town because that's what it, it's been buzzing this way since CM Punk's first promo, and um, I think it's only going to be better for the business. Um, just yeah, just can't keep people on the their seats wondering what's going on. Um, it's I really don't know what to say because even to me, I don't know. You know, I don't always have an answer because I'm not the answer man. But mm-hmm. right now, it's just 
so up in the air. They can go in any direction, and that's what's awesome about it because yeah. it's got the suspense. It's got everybody thinking. Um, you know what, what's going to happen. That's what's on everybody's mind. It's what's going to happen next, yeah. and that's what's awesome for the business. Yeah, um, with myself, I definitely have been enjoying the storyline leading up to Money in the Bank, and the match itself was actually you know a good match, so I enjoyed that. Uh, so it's definitely going to be one to uh, add to the DVD collection and CM Punk really making history by, uh, you know, defeating John Cena and uh, walking out of Chicago with the championship. Now, the only thing is now, I don't know if he's going to actually come back. We'll have to wait and see. Now that we have that tournament, I'm off. So hopefully CM Punk will eventually make a comeback, uh, at least, you know, in time for SummerSlam. And to continue with this feud with John Cena, you know, hopefully uh, we'll get to see that feud continue. You know, I hate to see you know end just like that. To me, I think they should continue it into SummerSlam or maybe the next pay per view after that. We'll have to wait and see. So it's definitely has been you know a really good storyline as of late. So uh, you know, with that, leading well, to Vince McMahon. Excuse me, before we go to the next yeah. question, um, I was thinking maybe CM Punk will make his return. Maybe the week before SummerSlam. I think we're going to crown a champion, either Ray Mysterio or Miz. Mm -hmm. And I think CM Punk will face one of them at SummerSlam okay. to be an undisputed champion. And then that's when we'll get a new belt as well. I think uh, mm -hmm. how Jericho fought, you know, Rock and Austin to become undisputed champion. I think you'll see CM Punk versus the Miz or Ray Mysterio uh, and become undisputed champion at SummerSlam. And we'll have a new belt presented because it'll be the undisputed WWE title. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's, and it's just yeah. me playing Booker, I guess. Yeah, well, that's just good about it. You know, you never know what's going to happen, and it's you know kind of the way unpredictable. So anything can really happen at this point. Uh, so uh, you know, we we'll have to wait and see. So SummerSlam so far is shaping to be uh, good, especially with that. So hopefully we will get to see CM Punk come back. So uh, that's it when it comes to that one. Uh, also at Money in the Bank, we did get to see two new Money in the Bank briefcase winners in Alberto Del Rio and Daniel Bryan both winning it in uh, both uh, for the Raw and SmackDown Money in the Bank ladder matches. And uh, what are you guys thoughts on how long these guys will hold it? And uh, well, uh, pretty much they will cash it in. WWE DVD 123, what are your thoughts? Well, I've got no clue how long he'll hold it, but uh, I can see Daniel Bryan must be cashing in at uh, Survivor Series, maybe mm -hmm. around some time like that. Okay. Uh, maybe like Barry, like Bob Van Damme starts cashing, because it is Daniel Bryan. I would love to see him cashing against CM Punk, but that's probably not going to happen. So yeah, probably until Survivor Series for Daniel Bryan. For Alberto Del Rio, I think he'll cash it in uh, sooner. Like I say, he could cash it in at SummerSlam. Uh, one thing that I thought they would do is they would have uh, Alberto Del Rio walk out this Monday night of Raw instead of facing Kofi Kingston okay. and then just cash in on the final winner after been going through three matches, but mm -hmm. they obviously had to go and shit book that. But yeah, yeah, I can see him cash it in even next week on Raw because mm -hmm. it's Alberto Del Rio and he probably won't delay his destiny as the WWE would be playing it. So I'm going to say for him... Next week's Raw uh, or SummerSlam. All right, Big Mike, what are your thoughts on that? Well, I don't really want to go into uh, Brian Danielson or Daniel Bryan part of it because mm -hmm. I uh, I read the spoilers for SmackDown. Oh, all right. So, um, no, if you want, you can just give your thoughts on the What's that? If you want, you can uh, just give your thoughts on Alberto Del Rio if you don't want to get into Yeah, I just give my thoughts on uh, Del Rio oh, here. Yes. I think he'll either cash it in on Monday mm -hmm. um, after someone gets the someone gets the title Monday because yeah, I think he's going to get it really quickly. Yeah. Um, because to me, it made no sense for him, you know, because he was already number one contender before CM Punk said I want to, mm -hmm. you know, be champion for league. Yeah. So. I think he's going to cash it as quick as he can, and it'll probably be, hmm, I don't know, Monday, if not SummerSlam, I think he'll, between, between, between then and now, um, that's when he'll do it, I believe. Alright, yeah, with me, um, 
I put to that video, probably will cash in next week. I thought he was going to cash in this week during Raw. Of course, you know, that matchup, you know, being cancelled uh, into next week. So, uh, you know, he probably will be cashing in and uh, will be champion going into SummerSlam. And uh, I don't know if he's going to face John Cena again, you know, depending on what's going to happen with CM Punk if he does come back. So that comes into play once again as well. So, uh, you know, a lot could happen, you know, with that unless... Alberto Del Rio will, you know, just hold it a little while longer and probably by uh, at least uh, into the end of the summer or, you know, maybe into uh, 90 champions or something like that, cash it in and become champion. And uh, with Daniel Bryan, uh, probably, you know, hold it a little while longer so I can build up more and, uh, you, know, um, you know, you know, prove that he, you know, wants the championship more and, uh, you know, continue his feud with uh, Cody Rhodes and, uh, Maybe in time, you know, once he cashed it in and uh, have another field this time with the championship, uh, probably, uh, I want to say, maybe around the end of the year or something like that. So uh, then you can, can, you know, cash it in and uh, hopefully have a good title in with that. So, uh, you know, it was good that they both, you know, uh, you know, won that match and uh, now uh, running the bank holders. So uh, that's it when it comes to that one. Well, I'm actually, for uh, a second, I'm going to touch on Daniel Bryan without going near the spoiler. All right. um, go I want to go out and uh, think Daniel Bryan. I think his his and Cody Rhodes feud will continue, and I think for some reason Cody will end up beating him. His briefcase on the lot in a match, so maybe mm -hmm. SummerSlam um, that be the end of the feud. He would oh. say, "Okay, Daniel Bryan, you're so good. Why don't you get your title?" Mm -hmm. You're making a match. And then the briefcase will be on the line at SummerSlam. Okay. Yeah, that's some reason I think Cody will win. Yeah, with that, that should be. I think the only reason why mm -hmm. I think they let the end of my win in the bank was for the shock value. Because mm -hmm. the whole pay per view was uh, shocking. Right. You know, um, people didn't expect it. Uh, Daniel O'Brien to win, they didn't expect the young punk to leave. Mm -hmm. uh, a lot of people didn't really suspect Christian to win, a lot of people didn't expect yeah. Mark Henry to win. Um, so they just kept going with the shock value all night long. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think Daniel Bryan may end up opening it. Kind of like a Kennedy idea. Oh, yeah. Well, uh, well, Kennedy was injured when he lost it, but uh, mm -hmm. I don't know. I think they. Yeah. I think that's what they'll do. Yeah, we'll have to wait and see. You know, uh, I thought it was good that they actually had that shock value to that. You know, I added. Uh, Daniel Bryan, you know, as a shock value as my third pick, so I was really surprised that that actually happened. So hopefully he doesn't actually lose it, and then, you know, keeps the money in the bank briefcase, so we'll have to wait and see. So uh, Daniel Bryan and Cody Rhodes still could be a match either way at SummerSlam, which is still be a good match. So, uh, you know, once again, you know, SummerSlam is shaping up to be uh, good, at, uh, depending on what's going on. So uh, that's it when it comes to that topic. Uh, the next thing I got here, and uh, what are your thoughts on Sin Cara, you know, pretty much failing the uh, wellness policy and being suspended for 30 days? Do you think uh, he'll come back and we'll get to see Sin Cara? WWE, DVD, 123, what are your thoughts on that? Yeah, I think Sin Cara will come back because, especially now, this economy can't afford to piss away money like they did on him. Like, they could have gone with too many new stars, except Sin Cara is one of the best wrestlers in world somehow so yeah just on interruption there by driver so yeah that, that's the main reason because of uh they can't piss away your money and sinkara is a great athlete too yeah all right big mike what are your thoughts on sinkara yeah obviously it was even fired but he's not mm -hmm. gonna get fired so at least a third uh violation anyways yeah so uh, i think this may have carried Mexico. Like, I don't know how long steroids and all that stuff is in your system. Mm -hmm. So, he, well, I guess he's been away from Mexico for a while, so yeah. uh, he must have been doing them. But uh, I don't know. I, I think right now it will go as what it is a 30 day suspension. Mm -hmm. And hopefully, it doesn't give him a, a bad break. Hopefully, they can keep pushing him and keep using him and not really, you know be discussing with him and put him in the back burner because mm -hmm. I think Saint, I think St. Car is a good star. Um, I think people are down on him because they expected so much from him. Right. You know, and um, 
people are going to learn, like, he's learning how to wrestle a different style. Mm-hmm. Um, and the people that are working with him are going to learn to, you know, do things differently as well because the when Mexicans are taught totally different. Right. You know, um, the, the style is totally different. Mm-hmm. And he, when you see him have matches with certain people, like Tyson Kidd mm-hmm. or Daniel Bryan, um, or even like Yoki Tatsu or whoever, like Chapo, yeah. um, those are the type of wrestlers that he needs to keep having matches with because they know that style. Mm-hmm. It's more of a freestyle style. Where in WWE, it's a style on its own because, you know, WWE wants it to look a certain way. We're opposed to independent wrestling or different wrestling for WWE. Mm-hmm. Uh, I don't know. He is, it's, it's totally different. Someone like John Cena couldn't have good matches. Like, or, I'm not saying because Cena sucks, right. but I mean... Um, He's never been adapted to that style. Someone like Randy Orton wouldn't have a good match with Sakara either. Mm-hmm. He's never been in that scene to wrestle that style. Right. So until everybody gets adapted, um, you're not going to see the Sakara that you want to see. Yeah, and uh, with me for Sakara, you know, hopefully, I'm um, sure we definitely get to see him again after the 30 day suspension. And hopefully, he'll learn from his uh, mistake and, uh, you know, we won't see any suspensions or. Have him, you know, you know, be let go. So I really like Sin Cara. I think he's a good wrestler, and uh, like you said, if you put him in a ring like the Tyson kid, guys like that, he'll definitely, uh, you know, uh, have a good match with them. And uh, you know, even with testing the waters to having, uh, you know, have a match with some of the other guys to see how they can do it, practice a little bit more. Um, you know, I'm sure he'll do just as good too. So uh, you know, hopefully we'll get to see Sin Cara back, and uh, you know, learn from his mistakes. So. Uh, that's it when it comes to reading with uh, thoughts and Sin Cara. And uh, the last thing that I got here, and uh, that is going into The Rock. And of course, you know, The Rock pretty much making a video response uh, via his uh, Facebook page. And, uh, you know, with the video response to John Cena, uh, you know, with that whole thing in the uh, Australian tour. And, uh, you know, continuing this year pretty much into WrestleMania. And I uh, just wanted to get you guys' thoughts on it. And uh, Big Mike, what are your thoughts on this whole video response by The Rock? I believe a lot of there's a lot of truth behind it. Um, you know, he's not technically under contract to WWE. Yeah. So he doesn't need to be there night in, night out. Um, I really don't know. I think I watch the video. I forget what he said. So. Mm-hmm. But... To me, the the Rock should never have come back. Mm-hmm. That's what it is to me. Mm-hmm. He should never have been the guest that was at WrestleMania. He should never have been back at all. He'll have to do his... I know WWE and Black he wanted ratings. For him to come back just to leave, to come back at WrestleMania and that's why people hate That's why his fans are... I hate him. I hate The Rock. Because he showed up and if he had never come back, his fans loved him because he did what he did. The Rock doesn't need to do it. Like, he doesn't need to come back and wrestle every Monday. Because, first of all, he doesn't have in rank back. Well, he probably does have the ability. Yeah, I'm sure. But he doesn't need to, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like, he accomplished everything in the WWE. He wanted to do more of this. He went through Hollywood, did what he needed to do. And that's that. Right. You, you know, if he would be there right now, he would just be taking someone's spot. Mm-hmm. He would be taking someone's spot with Dolph Ziggler, Drew McIntyre. Right. You know, where, with it being gone, there's an opportunity for the guys to be on TV. Mm-hmm. And without The Rock at WrestleMania, I think the WrestleMania would have been better. Because you wouldn't have had to have a 20 minute opening with him talking on the mic. You could have had a Daniel Bryan and Chickens match instead. Right. You know, he wouldn't have had to have him back up a young or Pee Wee Herman. He would have had another match. Mm-hmm. You know, or something that uh, was specifically with WrestleMania. So I think if he never came back, there would be no, there'd be no ifs and buts, no issues. Right. Yeah, um, with that being said, uh, WWE DVD, one, two, three, what are your thoughts on this whole rock response to John Cena? I just. He's too late. He's go to a rush of most city. Yeah. Is he big enough for him to appear and do yeah. one of this shit? 
and said that he would turn green started, which looks like now will be surprised or something like that because a lot of people are taking money in the bank. But I obviously didn't happen. So, I don't know. I don't really care about this until up, as far as the rumble. Who cares about this? Mm-hmm. By the way, I can barely sit to one of the rock promos on TV, so I did not watch this video, so I can't really say much on it. Yeah, that's fine. Um, with me, with this whole, you know, response to the rock, um, I did enjoy it. I thought it was a good promo. And, uh, you know, I kind of like what they're doing to at least, you know, get some of the fans uh, interested into WrestleMania 20. And I'm, I'm still pretty much, you know, looking forward to the match. Um, but, yeah, I understand, you know, what you're saying, uh, you know, with the rock and stuff like that. But I do respect, too, as well, uh, with him, you know, uh, going back to doing movies and, uh, you know, coming back as well. Uh, you know, coming back and doing promos, which is fine with me. So, uh, you know, hopefully this match, you know, ended up being a good match and, uh, you know, it'll be well worth it. And, uh, you know, uh, people can think, you know, a little bit differently on it. So, uh, you know, with that, I'm looking forward to seeing what else they're going to do next. Maybe they'll have an altercation or something uh, once again and I have another stand on and what have you uh, with the wrong words and stuff like that. And uh, maybe we'll get to see The Rock in the ring before. Uh, you know, WrestleMania to see how The Rock, you know, actually delivers, which I'm sure he didn't, uh, you know, lose his touch and everything, and can still wrestle, so it's going to be definitely very interesting, uh, to say the least. Uh, but that's pretty much it with all the topics. Is there anything else you guys, you know, want to add before we end the show, or anything else that you want to uh, talk about before we end uh, the show here? Uh, nothing. I uh, real happy to remember a today, so... Alright, how about you, uh, WWE DVD? Nah, I got nothing. Alright. Uh, well, I want to thank you guys for coming back in on the show. And uh, you, definitely you guys watching here. Uh, for in the hot seat, uh, comment down below. And let me know what you guys thought. So uh, definitely feel free to leave a video spots. And uh, I just wanted to plug uh, one more thing. Uh, you know, with uh, you know, Mrs. Boston fan coming on in. Uh, making a channel here. And I just recently made a new channel. So definitely... Uh, this is a plug for Mrs. Boston fan. Definitely, guys, go check it out. I will leave a link down below. And as well for you guys' channels as well, for everyone to check you guys out too as well. And uh, that about does it for this episode of In the Hot Seat. And as always, we'll talk to you guys later on. Peace.